So I finally finished my latest project. I always wanted one of these for the bottom of the bed. I've put lots of nice blankets and stuff. But this one I thought I'd have a bit of fun and use a whole bunch of different techniques and see what would happen. So this is my first um, exploration using my 12 needles felting machine. So that's how I created this texture. So it's basically, I've used this canvas, which you can see here is the binding, and here, and from the other side, I've used uh, quite a few different things. I've used cotton, I've used some thread, I've used lots of strips of fabric, and I've pushed through. And then here, I've taken Japanese cherry blossom trees. I've reversed some around, I've shrunk them, and I've altered them slightly so they're not all identical to create that. And then here we have just red mountains, which is, of course, very common to see red mountains. But what I did is I manually stitched all of this to get the snow to give a bit of direction. And then I created from a picture of these this. I shrunk it down just so it could be restitched. And then I manually stitched some extra little colors so it didn't look like clones. I put them on there just to give a, an effect. Up here we have clouds and I again I felted this from cotton balls, believe it or not. So little buds of cotton that you can buy in the drugstore and I made them and then I stitched them over on the machine. And you can see that one's got a hidden cloud behind it. I combined two types of Japanese crane embroideries here and I shrunk them and I reversed them and I adjusted them to make it look like they weren't all identical twins. Then you can see that here is the, the cloud again. Um, and you can see I just took the cotton. Put a little Japanese temple in here for good measure, just for fun. It, it should be... Yeah, it <laughs> it's a little bit cockeyed, but that's alright. It gives a sense of perception. And a little Japanese sun, which was fun. So the whole effect is... I actually think it's okay in the end. It, it felt a bit bleak initially. But actually, I actually think it's kind of fun. I didn't quilt this one with stipples. I just left it a bit wrinkly, but I might eventually decide to do that. I just thought it's, it's kind of nice as it is. And so there's my project for the day. A little decoration for fun. So I hope you will try some felting. And speak soon.